It was during morning rush hour. A packed Ottawa Transit bus and a busy Via Rail commuter train somehow ended up on a collision course at a level crossing. The bus smashing straight into the train. Witnesses say warning lights were flashing, the barrier was down, and passengers were even screaming at the bus driver to stop. But he didn't. He is among the six who died. 34 others are injured. Our Mike Lecouture is at the scene in Ottawa with a breakdown of what we know so far. Mike? Well, Donna, it started out as a normal Wednesday morning with dozens of people piling on the express bus heading downtown. But just a few minutes into the ride, the quiet commute quickly turned chaotic. The images are simply shocking. The bus's front end completely shorn off. Blue tarps cover the carnage as some of the double-deckers' passengers were thrown from the vehicle. A disturbing scene for the first emergency crews to arrive. We have a double-decker bus, front end of the bus has significant damage, multiple patients on the ground. They quickly realized the scale of the damage. Upgrade this to a mass casualty. We have one, two, I have about uh, six code blacks. Gregory Mack is one of the lucky few who walked away without a scratch. But what he saw is horrific. People were thrown on the tracks and surrounding areas uh, left of the bus because the train was coming in right to left. Um, so some people weren't moving, some were bleeding. And there was a severed limb. Mack got on the bus earlier in the route and says the driver seemed fine, nothing out of the ordinary. That's why it's so hard to understand why he seemingly missed the signals at the level crossing. After he passed the natural bend in the road, uh, I noticed from my window that there was a train coming. The signal lights were working and functioning. Uh, I just was somewhat uneasy at that time. Not worried, but uneasy. I felt he should be slowing down, but I assume he's going to just do it a little bit later. Uh, later on, I guess, realized that wasn't the case. and. Um, um, held onto the front seat and braced a bit. When the bus was coming down, there was a lot of people yelling to stop, and I really didn't know what was going on. And it turned out that he went right through the guardrail and hit into the train that was oncoming. Now, the accident happened just outside the Via Rail station in the Ottawa suburb of Barhaven. And while investigators combed the scene for clues, here's what we know from eyewitness accounts. The bus was heading north on a specially designed road for public transit, and the train was coming west from Montreal. Now, the signals and barriers seemed to be working, but for some reason, the bus didn't stop in time and collided with the train. All I felt was a, was a bump, and then I saw smoke, and then we were going off the tracks. I thought we were going to flip over. So, now The train did derail, but incredibly, it did not flip. Those who were headed to Toronto were taken away in buses, relieved to have survived the accident, but still wondering how it happened. All day, people have been flocking here, hoping to grab a glimpse of the wreckage, and every single one of them leaves here simply shaking their heads. Donna, 